The stepfather of nine-year-old Amari Varela will have 18 years shaved off his sentence. The Court of Appeals has overturned one of Stephen Casals' convictions in the beating death that prompted big reforms at CYFD. News 13's Madeline Schmidt is here with details. Yeah, well, Kim, the higher court ruled to vacate the child abuse resulting in death conviction, saying the state did not prove Omari's death could have been prevented had Casals called 911 after the boy was beaten by his mother. I was disciplining him. I kicked him the wrong way. It was an accident. The deadly child abuse case that rocked New Mexico in 2013 is making headlines again. Omari Varela's stepdad, Stephen Casals, was convicted and sentenced to 30 years in prison for his role in the death of the nine year old at their Albuquerque home. Among other counts, Casals was convicted of child abuse, resulting in death. For failing to get Omari medical attention, that conviction alone resulted in 18 years in prison. But now, the State Court of Appeals has overturned it, ruling that in testimony provided by an ER doctor and a pathologist, the state did not prove that Casals's failure to call 911 directly resulted in Omari's death. The court said the two doctors did not provide any evidence that Omari's injuries at the hands of his mother, Cynthia, could have been treated or that he would have had a better chance of survival if Casals phoned for help. Tom Clark is Casals. Casals' attorney. This was a central, central argument to our case all along. Casals' other convictions in the case, which amounted to 12 years in prison, still stand. It's the right result. This is a terrible case. The facts were just awful. Um, but from a legal standpoint, Court of Appeals did the right thing. The Attorney General's office says while it's glad the Court of Appeals upheld the other convictions in the case, it will be taking this to the Supreme Court. For the AG's full statement, just head over to KRQE.com. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Madeline. Now, in addition to the Omari case, Casal still must serve time for drug dealing and federal gun charges.